let's talk about hyperprolactinemia and what it means. It's Dr. Prathi Sharma, double board certified OBGYN and REI. Prolactin levels are generally checked in the fertility clinic on every patient that comes in for an initial consultation. What is prolactin? It is the hormone that's responsible for milk secretion from the breast while you're lactating. It can be elevated in pathologic conditions. When prolactin levels are elevated, and you can check this with a simple blood test, you can experience symptoms like irregular or absent menses, a breast discharge, typically it's described as a milky white discharge that is coming out when you have nipple stimulation or just on its own, or you may be experiencing infertility. If prolactin levels are elevated on first test, usually we will repeat these levels in the morning and fasting because prolactin does have a circadian rhythm and it can be elevated after a meal. Often we'll also check a macro prolactin level to determine if the high prolactin is from a biologically active compound. If after all this serum prolactin is still elevated, then we will order an MRI of the head to look for the etiology of high prolactin levels. Oftentimes a patient will have a microadenoma, which is a benign growth in the anterior pituitary that's less than one centimeter, causing high prolactin levels, or in rare cases, a macroadenoma, which is a larger growth. And often this will cause other symptoms like headaches and something called bitemporal hemianopsia, which is loss of peripheral vision. This is quite rare. We will usually treat high prolactin levels in the infertility population with a medication called Dostinex or Cabergoline. This is a medication that you take orally one to two times a week, and the idea is that it drops prolactin levels into the normal range and allows your menstrual cycles to be more regular and also can reduce symptoms of hyperprolactinemia like the breast discharge. And many patients, once they ovulate more regularly, will be able to conceive naturally or with minimal assistance. Patients continue Dostinex or Cabergoline until they are pregnant, at which time they can stop the Dostinex throughout their pregnancy.